Come on, Mr. Spiny. Ugh. Okay, there's the message box. Are you happy now? Okay, I have to like do a low spin jump on him. And I really shouldn't be safe staying this much. This hack is not like a Kaizo hack. It's not that bad. Except for this part. This is hard. Because these bats are really weird. And also the... I don't know if it's like the fact that this is a scrolling level. But there's some glitch. I don't know if it's this level or if it's like every level of Mario World where like... If you're on the left side of the screen, it thinks you're on the right side of the screen, and so, like, if you notice, the bolts thing is not always shooting. And and these bats, there are, like, two different kinds of bats. This is, like, what I've discovered uh, yesterday while playing this level. There's, like, two different kinds of bats. There's bats that will move once, they, once you get close enough to them, and ones that'll move when you're, like, right on the screen. Like, he's a close bat, he's a screen bat. Uh, what was I even trying to do there? Okay, so... The one on the right is this when you get close enough to him on the screen. Or maybe they're not. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe both. Um, I did all this research on the bats yesterday while playing because, like, I wasn't really sure how they work. And we're going to have some more annoying bat jumping later. Um, not there, but it, it gets worse. Like right here, mainly. Oh, wait, how how did I do this? I'm trying to remember how I did this. I... Not like that. You can't screen scroll because it's an auto-scrolling level. See, like, when I'm... See, watch, when I'm, like, far right here, that bat will, come, will be triggered. Unfortunately, that doesn't help me much. That's kind of what I have to do. I have to... I have to go onto the side of the screen so that the second bat gets triggered. Like that. Except without the dying part. And, like, actually doing it right might help, too. Ugh. Why can't I, like, turn around fast enough in order to... I can't seem to be able to turn around this... I think the roof is sort of strange. I hope I didn't need him. I, I don't remember, honestly. So, yeah, I just triggered that bat. This, this bat science is very fascinating. This is another level where there's like a strict time limit, but since it's an auto-scrolling one, you know it's not because you, you are running out of time, it's be just because, you know, he's giving you the least time possible. Uh, this one I didn't understand. The Muncher's stem is poisoned with toxins that will kill Mario and his er, I guess that was a different, uh, sign box. But basically, the stems you see coming up supposedly are poisonous. Um, I don't know if, let's see if I can show off. Yeah, basically, I think they're just like Munchers in disguise. Now these skulls move faster than the auto scrolling does, so I'm just gonna get on them as soon as, like as late as I can. Because last time I played through this, I got off. Like I, I had to get off them at the last minute. Like I was sitting on the last skull, and he was barely on the screen, and it, it's it's, it's kind of tricky. See, like I did it again, and I crashed into a bat. See, that's what you have to do. So you really have to. Spike top. Uh, you have to, like, get on it at the last minute if you can. Okay, is this level over yet? I, I, I don't think there's much after this. Yeah, it's just, like, spiny jumping, and so... I can handle that. And more bats, but you don't need to actually jump on them. So, like, this level... The bat jumping is hard. I really didn't like that part. But this... The rest of it's kind of okay. And... You know, here's the problem, I think, with, like, not doing stuff blind, is that this is sounding more like a review than an actual playthrough, which is... Okay, this part you do have to hurry because there were, like, five seconds on the clock and I completely ignore the time limit, despite the fact that the music is running fast, and, uh... Okay. This one you do have to press the P-switch, but I'm still taking my free mushroom because that's how I roll, and I have four seconds left. So, like I said, he doesn't give you more time than you need. So, I don't know, like, I think the Kaizo traps are kind of cheap, like, it would be a better hack without those. Okay, Chuck Smith's Fortune, this one does have a secret exit, and I know where that secret exit is. And he does put, like, a filtering system at the uh, beginning of some of these levels. So he says, a blue POW switch is needed in order to continue on your journey, you must go right, as that is where the POW switch is. What he doesn't tell you is that the, that you need this springboard, which is on the left. So, like, first time I played through this, I played through the whole level and then found out, and so, 
knowing me, I just died, uh, since I'm not one to, like, replay the level for that. Um, okay, here's a spot where it's sort of hard. It's a springboard jump, a mid-air springboard jump, which I really don't like because they these are hard. They take kind of precision timing. If I can do it right, it took me quite a while to do it last time, if I recall. And it also took me a while to do it when I had to do it uh, for High Mario World way back. Back in the day. So, but like the rest, this level is not hard except for... Ah! I forgot about you. There is a little bit of lag sometimes with all these chunks, because this... Like the... Oh, I killed him. Nice. Uh, wasn't... This level was called something about chucks, and I don't remember the name. Uh, so here is classic Kaizo. Uh, except it looks nicer without the floating munchers, as most hacks do. Which is why, like, as I've said before, that's one rule on SMWC I agree with. I don't like floating munchers just look ugly. Because, and they're sort of like the hallmark of a bad YouTube hack. So, as if you thought one of these guys wasn't enough, there are two of them, which I immediately get through. Anyway, so this guy I like to send down here. There's the key, just so you know. We're going to be coming back here for the secret. Well, just to get the key. The, the, the secret, uh, the, the keyhole is actually right at the beginning, so we're going to... This level has a bit of backtracking tra back involved. And there's another truck up here. There's a lot of backtracking involved for the secret in this level. That's what I was trying to say before. And I can't seem to kill this guy. So I'm just going to lead him over here. And die. And do that. Hopefully he's not going to respawn, although I think he might. Or his brother might. Maybe that was the, maybe that was him. The springboard is really annoying. There we go. Okay, so you don't need the springboard anymore, I think. Although, actually, just for good measure, in case I do need it, and I don't remember if I do because I don't remember, I'm gonna, uh... Right, there are random sections of the wall on this that kill you. I'm just gonna... No, I, I double-grabbed. How about that? Okay. Let's just not do that. I'm, I don't want the freaking key! And I'm just gonna kill the springboard, so he'll respawn, like, back at the beginning if I need him. I actually I don't think I do for the normal exit and there's actually a glitch with the secret exit that I don't know if it's supposed to happen or not so how did you jump and not the other guy it's like the secret exit uh, spoilers this secret exit like smashes the castle which is the next level is a castle level it smashes the castle and then it it just doesn't do anything, so I don't know if that's a glitch. See, there's the keyhole up there, um, but I'll show you how to get that uh, a little later. Probably going to be in the next video if I look at the time limit, although actually, since I'm uh, probably going to speed some stuff up. See, there's the springboard back. Okay, springboard, you die again. Here's what you have to do. Press the switch here and hope that that mini-mole is facing the right direction. There he is. Then you just ride him to victory, and there is another bad time limit here. You need to uh, move your plant sprites down one, like they're just barely sticking out of the pipe. Then we have an obvious Kaizo reference here, and I'm not gonna make any reference to the speed of which Pokey should be moving. Uh, come on, just come on. I'm not gonna say, not gonna say, not gonna say it. Pokey is really hard to control, that's why I don't like Pokey jumping. And this is kind of a blatant Kaizo. This this is almost kind of cheap that you just threw this in at the end, like. Again, I'm not exactly sure what this hack is supposed to be. Is it supposed to be a Kaizo hack, or is it supposed to be, like, an actual good hack? Uh, I know if, you, if I give you the choice of those two, I know what you're gonna say, but, uh... And yes, you do need this B-Switch, for anyone wondering. But, like, because you... The level design isn't that bad, except for a few spots where it's, like, really hard. 
and like I can't tell if you're going for trying to be it. Then, like the level design is okay, but then you have spots like this where you, where he is obviously trying to be Kaizo. So like I'm not sure what you're going for. No, I want my free mushroom. Like if you're going for making a good hack, or if you're just going for Kaizo, because like I, I mean I don't have anything against Kaizo. I like playing them every now and then, but like. The world could go without another few couple hundred Kaizo hacks, which are just a lot of floating munchers. And I gotta say, even if you are going for a Kaizo hack, this is not that bad for a hack. I mean, there's, it's not just floating munchers everywhere, or one of those levels that's only possible to do by TAS. There we go. Uh, so... Yeah. N secret exit uh, coming right up.